Newly kicking up dust on a one lane road Joe Diffie tunes humming out the radio In the night so young as we are right now Sitting frozen in time on the edge of time YouTubers, YouTubers, YouTubers One man smoke, back at you Got the uh, cherry wood today Smoking um some uh, Mississippi River mm-hmm down at the farm today it's blazing putting in some pipe uh, doing some spraying some irrigation box opening today Yes, sir, indeedy. From uh, my old buddy, Chooch Master X, old bird. Pop this sucker open here. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. For well, yes, it is. I don't know if you can uh, see me good on this 4K video right here, but uh, we got some uh, Wessex Burley. Mm-hmm. What you talking, amigo? Got Pedro and Jose. Jose and Pedro putting in work today. Yeah. It's good. Nothing. Thank you. Gracias. 5100 mm. that's some good stuff Jose and Pedro they just got through with their little lunch break getting ready to take off there in the van they're doing uh, I think it's five acres five acres today they're um, topping I believe that's what uh, yeah they're out topping today. I don't know if I'll get any footage of them. We're doing something else. Mm. Sitting over here, uh, Grandpa's house, great grandpa. Uh, Brian's great grandfather grew up there in that house right there. They've rebuilt it a few times through the years. Got here, uh, mm, Cornell and Deal some of that small batch well I tell you what <clears throat> old bird my buddy he knows how to hook me up and here we got some salty dog mm -hmm. yes sir indeedy it's a beautiful thing mm. Sir, some Solani. Beautiful. Good stuff. Mm. Aged Burley Flake. Well, since we're in the Burley country, we're at a Burley farm. That's appropriate. And I'm over here snake smoking Mississippi River. And we got a uh, peach haven, peace haven. I don't know why I always say peach. Peace, peace haven. Mm-hmm. Mm. Looks a little light. Last time I had some of this, it was a little darker. A little bit looks like they got a lot of white Virginias up in there I reckon a little bit more than usual I don't see a whole lot of reds in there any words thank you very much old bird and you know <clears throat> some of this Wessex Burley here some good-looking stuff but uh, anyway 
just want to stop in here and say uh, what's up and I've uh, got some video editing to put together got a lot of, of footage out here and uh, I'm just on a little small little lunch break Brian's off eating some pork chops I don't partake in any of that monster but uh, he can have all he can have my portion He's over at mom's house. Mom's just right over there down the street. Yeah. Mom and dad's spot. Good buddy of mine down in uh, the swamplands made that for me. Yes, sir, indeedy. Commissioned by my buddy, Old Berg. Old Berg had to make this for me. Goes with me everywhere I go. Yes, sir, indeedy. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. So Jose and Pedro are back to work. Brian. I'll be looking him up here in a minute. Or he'll look me up. Anyway, y'all enjoy the videos, man. We'll talk at you later. Peace. I'm out. Crooked politicians and crime in the streets And I'm madder than hell And I ain't gonna take it no more I tell our kids to just say no Then some panty waste judge lets a drug dealer Hey! It's almost like last time we met one How are you? Doing good Just got through spraying the first load, but there's more ground down here than I can haul in one trip, so I just added a little bit more. I think I got about 50 gallons. Wait, what are you spraying today? Uh, we're gonna spray some sucker stuff, and then I like to add some Drexelin to that. So uh, this tobacco was topped yesterday, and I always like to spray top tobacco the next day, and I like to spray it before lunch. So I got started here, I don't know, about nine. I think I started filling the machine up about eight, and it was a little after nine when I got started. So, uh, try to get it while the pores are still open so the plant can absorb the material. So, uh, last time we came out here, uh, we were doing some uh, insect eradications. How we how we doing on the insects? I uh, didn't see any insects uh, that are targeted by the chemical that we sprayed. However, I did see some hornworm damage in that piece in the back, and i considering adding uh, a different uh, insecticide to the sprayer and take care of those hornworms but I only saw those in a couple of spots back there so I don't know if it's going to be worth worth the expense and the effort to eradicate 23 plants that have hornworms out of the 20,000 that are back there yeah I just came from the red barn over there and uh, I looked at the Connecticut broadleaf and uh, everything was dead over there that's on it so Yes, That's... sir. Uh, we hit that with another dose of insecticide the night before last, and I hit it with a dose of fungicide last night. I wanted to go ahead and do that before I contaminated my spray tank with this sucker stuff because I can't spray the normal sucker stuff on the broadleaf. It'll damage the leaves. It'll cause them to crinkle up, and then they won't be any good for wrappers. It's getting darker. Seems oh, it's pitch black green. Uh, We've had a chance of rain the last two evenings, and it just, it was like it hit a wall when it got to the Ohio River, it just fizzled. So our friends on the other side of the river in Indiana got a good drink of water, and we didn't get but a little bit of a sprinkle, and that was it. So after we get this sprayed, I'm gonna start dragging pipes, and uh, we're gonna make it rain. 
We got a pump that goes on the back of the tractor. We got aluminum pipes. We put those together. It's like a big boy erector set. Mm. And then we got some water cannons on the trailer down here by the field. Yeah, I've seen some uh, some folks. They're lucky enough to live close enough to Ohio. They can just pipe right into it. Yeah, and uh, they're going to struggle to get their suction down to the river right now. It looks like there's a lot of beach down there. Yeah. And uh, that's the same thing we're going to deal with with the pond here. We're going to have to uh, try to get the tractor and the pump as close to the water as possible because just like any pump, it has to be primed. So I want you to imagine uh, you get a big gulp at the speedway and you uh, put a straw in it and you're going to suck coke through the straw. Well, we're going to have to do the same thing with our pump. And our pump has a manual primer on it. So that should be interesting here in a little while. Time for a ride? Yeah. here a problem I don't know if you can see that or not hornworms if I spray this field and it rains within two hours I'll have to reapply and if I spray this field and it rains between two and six hours I'll have to reapply with like half a rate but if it's on there for six hours and it doesn't rain, then we're good. Yeah. They're well, talking like there's a pretty good chance of rain this afternoon. Really? And I hope it does. But in order to instigate said rain, I'm going to go ahead and plan on pumping water to make it rain. So we're about to find out. We haven't irrigated since 2012. So all of our irrigation equipment has been mothballed since 2012. So mm. I expect to have problems. We've already had problems. We had a flat tire on the pipe wagon. And then when we, when we pulled it off, we found that it was a split rim. Oh. And uh, you can't get those anymore. But my father rummaged through his inventory of spares and we found a rim and we found a tire took it this morning and had it mounted to take it up to Carrollton I did I dropped it off and then I took the kids to school and got some gas cans filled up and picked it up on the way back through What pressure coming is the water coming out at? Less than a hundred. It's going to depend a lot on how steep the incline is we're going up. This will be our suction line, as evidenced by the strainer. Mm. But we're probably going to augment that with a float of some sort. Don't want to suck in any cats or any turtles or anything like that, huh? Usually it's going to be sticks and leaves and yeah. bark and organics. This pipe here's got a, a busted flange. We'll probably avoid using that one if we can. Mm. 
Got a T plug. Cast aluminum. All cast aluminum. It says made in USA. California, if I had to guess. Wade Rain. One of the things I'm going to do to keep the cost low is Jose and Pedro, they're busy topping that burley over there at the cable barn today. They're going to keep topping that burley. I'm going to do as much of this irrigation by myself as I can to keep the cost down. If I get in a jam and I need a hand, I'll go get them. Or I'll send a text and they'll show up shortly. But they got their hands full topping five acres of burley today. I think they can do it. I think they'll have it done with supper. I've instructed them to only top the flowers. Some of those plants are smallish and they haven't bloomed yet. But if this rain comes in tonight like they're talking about, it should go ahead and push the rest of the flower. So I think this evening I'm gonna try to spray what they're, to what they're topping now. I don't wanna spray, if they're gonna be in it, I don't wanna spray it. I think the worker re-entry interval on this chemical is three days. But uh, we're going to keep people out of it as long as possible. Now down here where I just sprayed, we're going to irrigate. Well, we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to set the irrigation along the side in the grass rather than go out in the crop that we just sprayed. That way we don't get sick. We also don't want to make any water fly for six hours. And I don't know what time did we finish up there? 1030? Yeah. So we shouldn't be pumping any water before before her. And it is remarkably better than, uh, let's say, uh, a team of horses. But it still works. All right, we're gonna unhook this trailer. trimmed around this barn with the bush hog because it was a jungle. Yeah. <laughs> I use this tractor to do it. I use this tractor to do a lot of stuff now. It's got the buddy seat, you know, if it, one of the kids wants to go. Or, yeah, it's getting, it's getting traction too. If, uh, So this is where your suction line goes and that's where you'll drop that pipe into the water that has the strainer on it and then over on this side you'll just slip a four inch joint of pipe in here and there's a little ring slips down over that knob and you can use a 10 or a 20 or a 30 and then you can point it to the field so in an ideal circumstance we'll point this to the field and we won't have to use any elbows 
Because every time you put an elbow in that line, you lose 10 to 15 PSI at the, at the gun. Uh, you were asking earlier about pressure at the pump. Here's a gauge. Best I recall, 100, 110, 120 pounds at the pump. But the amount of pressure at the gun itself will depend on how steep the hill is, how deep the hole of water is, and how far the gun is from the pump. Obviously, an ideal circumstance would be to have the, the pond right next to the field, so you only need a few pieces of pipe and you're going. And when we raise tobacco in some of these fields here close to the road, that's the case. Uh, in years past, you've seen tobacco along the road down there. Mm -hmm. Well, the pond is right at the end of the field. Matter of fact, if you over-irrigate, it just runs back in the pond. So this afternoon, I'm going to put some air in these tires. I'm going to grease these wheels, grease that drive line, check the oil in this gearbox. Just give this thing a, a going over. When we drop suction and we build the system, that's when we have to prime this thing. And that's what this is about. And there's a rubber bladder inside here. And I'm hoping that it's not dry rotted or compromised because that is the single most frustrating part of the whole irrigating bit. You have to have a perfect seal on your suction because that is your drinking straw, your four inch diameter drinking straw down out of that big pond full of soda. And you're gonna have to use this hand pump to fill that suction line clear to this pump housing. Then you'll have somebody start the, the, the drive, the tractor, the PTO, and you'll continue until you can't pump it anymore and then you'll have to valve this thing off. And hopefully by that point in time, you'll have pressure. Got a diaphragm in there, I assume. Yes, sir. And the last time we did this, we replaced that, and that made priming it much easier. I bet. Because the old one had a little pinhole in it, and it was almost impossible. I mean, you pump, 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 300, 400 strokes and nothing. And it's hot, and you're frustrated. Yeah. Like it is now. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It always is. But it's pretty gratifying when you see that big water cannon blasting water i think we can go 150 feet yeah it's beautiful i think we can shoot a stream 150 feet we'll know pipes 30 foot sections but i've already picked out two spots where i want my guns because the tobacco is about this tall and it's on the slope and the tobacco down there in the low place is this big so i'm not going to put the water in the low the water is going to end up in the low place on its own you know what i mean yeah. So I'm going to set the gun on the slope on that field down there where that tobacco's small. And we get that all set up and get that going on and then it'll rain tonight. And that's good because I don't have a hole of water at the cable hoist barn. Yet. So all of you YouTubers out there, if you all want to put together about 20 grand so I can get a dozer in there and get us a, a pond. So we'll have water to irrigate and have a guaranteed successful crop every year. And uh, a lot of people been asking us over the years, hey, where can we get a hat like that? Well, we made it easy for you all. You can go to www.omspipes.com and get you one. Thanks for the support, everybody. What these boys want. Yo, my fan base, don't you? I'm the truth, big dog. What you staring at, Bubba? Yeah, I ram this. Everybody grabbing, trying to ask a bunch of questions When I did the same thing, they said your boy wasn't impressive Now my pocket's full of money, and I'm trying to dodge the sheriff Yeah, I'll make a million songs, but I don't care if y'all don't nerve Real recognize itself, like it's looking in the mirror Yeah, I burn like liquor, hot as old mineral spirits Music road tried to ban me, cause mama raised a rebel Pop the clutch, hit the pedal, coming down with all this metal Yeah, I'm talking guns, bubba, when I mean that, I got several Southern boy, Christian then I don't make deals with devils I'm a decent land outlaw Rebel born rule breaker Z71 driving ass Kicking name take a love and where I'm at Give a damn about a Hollywood I do it for the sticks and keep it real Like everybody should So if you want a gun say hell yeah If you nick some bird say hell yeah If your truck got dead say hell yeah And if you rat negligent say hell yeah Shit I'm a star 50 more in the back of my truck